Hello friends, in this lecture I'm going to talk about different ways to select components and objects. And I'm going to start with select all. So this is one of the best way to select in components or objects. So again, this is the top in the toolbox. Here this, you no, know, this white color arrow kind of icon. The select tool and the shortcut is Q. You can press anytime Q to select that select tool. And with this tool, you can select any object. Let me bring some multiple objects there. And so that we can easily know. Select multiple things. Okay. So now this is my small shop of different polygon primitives. Okay. So now let's select with the select tool. Although you can select with move tool, but I will not recommend you to do this. Because if you do this, sometimes the problem is students accidentally move the object when you when they click to select they accidentally move the object a little bit and then later they see um, the object is being moved okay so let's go to select tool and with the select tool there's no chance to move because it cannot move it can't it doesn't have that power that super power so let's select to select you can just left click to select any object Let's say I want to select these two objects. I can do one thing. I can select it and then hold shift when I'm clicking on it so that it adds onto that you no know, selection. I can keep doing it, hold shift. You know, by when I'm holding shift, I can just click, click, click to add to the current selection. To deselect everything, I can click anywhere outside or in the empty area. Just click to deselect everything. Okay. Or let's say I select these three things by holding shift and then i just want to deselect this one i can hold control and click to deselect you can see the icon you can see how the little minus icon is next to the arrow basically control to subtract from the selection and shift to add to the selection in reality shift is actually not adding it's kind of actually a reverse option when you, you know, drag let's select it in a different way you can also drag to select multiple objects the drag area is big and inside the drag area there are the objects even if you no know, my drag box is uh, not just touching the torus i can still select it by doing this uh, let's say i want to select this and i hold shift and drag like this and you can notice my drag is touching the cube as well and if I do this, you can see that inverted means you no, know, the selected is now deselected. So basically, shift actually uh, add to the selection when you click, but when you drag, make sure you are not dragging on any selected object. It's going to reverse that. And for this, there is an uh, other option which is control shift, and you can notice. When I'm holding Control Shift, it turns to plus. You can just notice this mouse cursor. And now if I drag, even if I'm dragging on the cube, it's still going to keep that selected. So actually, Control is deselecting or no subtracting from the selection. And Control Shift is actually adding to the selection. And if you are holding click and adding, then you can also use Shift. So these are some selection technique. To select the objects and again you can also select component through this tool and you can go to any component mode first then you can again click to select again you can hold shift to add or you can hold control shift to add as well you can hold let's say I have selected this one and I want to select these three let me rotate this view now I can uh, hold control shift and drag like this to add to the selection now i have selected this vertex and i want to add these three vertices to that selection i can do that if i hold shift and drag i'm going to basically reverse that so just know this difference this is very helpful okay so you can select using select tool so again there's another option let me go to a complex object which has you no know, multiple vertices Okay, now let's say I want to select a you no know, complex pattern here. So I can do that using lasso select tool. 
so lasso select tool allows you to draw a complex area to select like this and it's unlike the select tool which gives you a square and you don't have the control to you know adjust that square shape and let's see let's go to vertex mode and drag like this you cannot let's say i just want to select these three and all these things i can do that i'm selecting these things as well so basically it doesn't allow you to select complex shapes so you can go to lasso and you can draw and you can select include these things it's up to you you can complex any vertices in between there okay or any face basically all the options works with every component the same way okay so lasso is sometimes very useful and this is very useful option to select multiple objects let's say now dragging to select these two is very difficult because the torus is on the way and i can easily you know select those things with the lasso by just dragging like this so lasso is very useful sometimes and there's the paint selection tool which uh, which allows you to on, only select components you cannot select objects with this tool you can select component let me go to face mode and with this paint selection this is kind of a brush and you are painting to select the you no know, select the thing you can see i'm selecting vertices and here's the brush size which is quite big i can decrease or increase the brush size by just double clicking on the option or you can again remember this is the tool setting or you can double click on any of the tool to get the tool setting as well okay here inside this you can go to this radius u and you can decrease this to get the brush size uh, small or you can also hold b key b for ball hold the b key and left mouse drag when while you are holding the b key to increase or decrease the brush size so this is very important uh, to adjust the brush size to you know select appropriately or properly if it's a big brush size then it it's going to select everything in between there or inside that radius basically these three options the select tool lasso select tool and the pen selection tool are the way to select components and objects and make sure you practice all these things before you move on to the next lecture and i'll see you in the next lecture where i'm going to show you how to use move rotate and scale to move rotate and scale the objects